Welcome, welcome, boys. If you're receiving this diagnostic trouble code, P0344, you'll have a camshaft position sensor A circuit, intermittent bank one, or single sensor, which means if you have more than one sensor, bank one will be the one on the driver's side, left side of the vehicle. However, the vehicle we're going to be replacing this cam sensor on is a Dodge Dakota, and it has a single sensor on the passenger side, the right side. So opposite of bank one. The sensor is located on bank two, but it is a single sensor, so that's where it is. So your symptoms will be vehicle will not start or it will have a long crank to start. And that's what this manifested itself as. I was starting the key after uh, doing the body damage repair. And I noticed uh, it had a longer crank than it used to prior to that. Not that much longer, but noticeably longer. I was like, hmm, that took a little bit longer to crank than normal. That's interesting. And then the next time I fired it up, it did the same thing. And then there was an engine light, and then this is the code that it produced. So we're going to go ahead and go to the truck, and I'll show you where the sensor is and how easy it is to replace it. Welcome, welcome boys. In this video, we're going to be replacing the camshaft position sensor in our 2003 Dodge Dakota with a 4.7 V8. This procedure will be similar to any other Chrysler vehicle with a 4.7 V8, the Jeep, Durango, Ram. This is what we have to replace it. This is an NTK camshaft position sensor. Purchased this from Advance Auto Parts. They did have it in stock. So this is it, and this is the part number. And the location of it is on the right side of the truck, passenger side, if you will. So we have to go under here. The wheel's on right now. It's under this fender liner. Back up in there. I'll get you a better view here in a second. Well, here's the manifold. A few inches away, there's this plug with some wire loom. If we squeeze and pull, <coughs> three prong connector. So, and it's held in by what appears to be a little tan right there. All right, boys, and here's the old one and the new one. They do look the same. And now it is possible that the old one still works and that all this magnetic gunk build up on it, which I'm guessing are engine components made of ferrous metal, is causing that issue. But this was only 35 bucks, so we're gonna put the new one in. So there's an O-ring that holds on, so it is a little difficult to get off. You just gotta pull and twist, pull and twist, pull and twist, and I use my little tack tool that I call the pry tool to kind of get in there on that metal part and just kind of work at it while I'm pulling and twisting and then she came out with some convincing. Well, that's our hole. So we're going to put a little bit of uh, some dielectric silicone grease up in there to kind of lube the o-ring and then just pop her in place. And then we'll uh, see if the code clears and stays cleared and then hopefully she starts right up with not that much cranking. All right, boys, she snapped back in place. You will hear an audible click when you press it all the way in. It's bolted in place. Let's clear the code. And then hopefully she starts up and we can put the truck back together. And then I guess change the oil now that all the oil is going to be up in the valve cover. So I'm going to have to fire it up again. But it is what it is. All right, so we still have the code. Let's clear it now. Erase codes. Engine on, ignition off. Okay, it actually cleared this time, so that's a good sign. Let's go back to read. All right. says it has no codes. Let's find out. Do we start? She 
fired right up. Nothing there. No engine light there. Alright boys, that's how we replaced camshaft position sensor 2003 Dodge Dakota with a 4.7 V8. Now I can get this truck hopefully back together and on the road, so stay tuned for that. And then I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching boys. Peace.